This is the second lecture in the review before we start diving into the content in Algebra 1 to catch us up on that 7th and 8th grade math we may need to review. In this section, we're going to talk about combinations. And what we're talking about with combinations is the number of combinations of outcomes of specific events. And we're going to use what's called the tree diagram to do so. So let's say that I want to find out the different outcomes of flipping this coin, okay? Because I want to you further calculate the probability of getting heads three times in a row. So to do this, we're gonna have a tree diagram. And we start with the beginning here. And the first time I flip this, I have the option of getting heads or tails. So there's two options after flipping one coin. And if I flip it again, this coin could be heads or tails. And this coin could be heads or tails. So now there's four different outcomes. One, two, three, four. So the, uh, if I flip it again, this one could be heads or tails. This one could be heads or tails. This one could be heads or tails. And this one could be heads or tails. So now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different outcomes. And this is a tree diagram. Okay, so let's look at another example here. Uh, we'll say we're going to lunch and you have two choices of salad. You have a fruit salad and a garden salad. And then there's three types of soup. You have chicken noodle, Uh, cream mushroom and minestrone and then for dessert you have a choice dessert you have a choice of a cookie or a Sunday. So what are the different number of combinations of entrees that I can have for lunch? What are the total amount of choices? And to do this, we're going to use this tree diagram. Okay, so the first thing to do is we start at the be beginning here, and then we're going to go and make sure these are really far apart here. We're going to have the fruit salad or the garden salad. Now with each one of these choices, you could either choose the chicken noodle, the cream of mushroom, or the minestrone. And same here. Chicken noodle, cream of mushroom, and minestrone. And each of these have two choices, the cookie or the sundae. The cookie or the sundae. The cookie or the sundae cookie or the sundae the cookie or the sundae so every time I spread out each choice gets further and if there was another choice and we definitely would need more room to do this so the idea here is how many choices do we have we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve different choices And we can use this tree to figure that out. Let's look at one more example. And I think we pretty much got this covered. 
on the tree diagram. Say you're, you're looking to buy an outfit and you can wear a red shirt, a blue shirt, or a white shirt. You can wear shorts, jeans, or slacks. And you can wear tennis shoes, loafers, and yeah, just tennis shoes or loafers. Okay, so how many different combinations of outputs, of, of outfits, will we have from, from these three choices? So the first one is the shirt. We can have, let me see, make sure these are really far apart here. So that we have plenty of room. Red, blue, or white. And for the red shirt, we can go shorts, jeans, or slacks. And then again, here we can go shorts, jeans, or slacks. And then again, shorts, jeans, or slacks. And then between each of these, we have two choices, tennis shoes or loafers. So each time it just branches off to each different little output here. And how many different combinations do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. <laughs> Possible combinations. Of outfits. Okay. And that's going to do it for this lecture. The next lecture, we're going to go back and talk about the Cartesian plane and review that. And I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you for watching.